How's it going today, boys and girls? Huh? I shaved my beard off. You know, I, I had uh, a lot of complaints with my beard because I had a lot of, well, husbands and boyfriends contacting me and and uh, were telling me that their that their woman had the hots for me with my beard, and so I decided to shave it off so I wouldn't entice those women. And, and then at the same time, I could entice you women out there that like guys without beards, you know. And, and you can see I've shaved. I have about maybe a day's, two days growth on here. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I shaved my beard completely off, boys and girls. Hey, I thought I'd do a segment today because I, I haven't done one for a long time about what's on my desk you know I'll show you just a few things that's on my desk here's a gift card you can't see it it's it's candy corns but it's 3d when you look at it it's three dimension the candy corns are are piled up on top of each other but you can't see it boys and girls because it's 3D and you can't see 3D on a 2D set like you have on your on your monitor. Now here's something that my sister made for me and I love I love the artwork that she does. This is what I got in the mail yesterday. Uh, I absolutely I absolutely love that. I think it's uh, I think it's really neat and uh, Every now and then she makes uh, something for me and just sends it to me. And I, that's what I got yesterday. I've been working on a lot of old photos uh, the last two days. Uh, and I'll share a couple of them with you. Now here's, here's, an, old, here's an old guy with an old car uh, standing by an old gas station putting some old gas from an old gas pump in his old car. Isn't that fun, boys and girls? What else do I have to show you guys, huh? Oh, oh boy. Here, I got, I, I bought, uh, I have a lot of old insurance policies. Here's here's a couple of them. Home, the Home Insurance uh, Company, uh, Columbia. Now, these, are, these are pretty old. I don't know if I can see the date on that or not. I guess not. And here's here's one that I thought was really neat. It's the Cooper insurance, insurance policy. I'll open it up. I'll, I'll be very careful with this because it's worth, you know, several hundred dollars, boys and girls. And so I need to open it up very carefully so I don't rip it, so I don't rip the crap out of it and show you guys what it looks like. You know, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you know, but I, I, I just love, I love uh, old documents, old in, old uh, documents like this. Uh, I'm not sure the date on this one is. I think this date is oh eight oh yeah, eighteen, eighteen ninety one looks like there, but. Uh, here, I'll go through some of these old uh, photos with you. Not that you're interested, but I'll show you anyway. How about, how about this, huh? An old car lot out of 1937. That's a 1937, boys and girls. Can you say 1937? How about this? Huh? Okay, old drugstore there, huh? I'd like to go in a drugstore like that, huh? That's even beyond my... You know, they used to do it... What they used to do at banks? They used to have different motor car companies, like Ford Motor Car Company, for instance, put their damn car inside the, inside the lobby of a bank, believe it or not, for advertising. How about this one? A Crafts food display. There's a lot of glare there, probably. 1937, a uh, uh, Crafts food display. 
Are you enjoying this, boys and girls? I sure hope so. I sure hope that you're enjoying this. This here's another gas station. Look at that old guy there. Here's a guy there, boys and girls. It's actually putting or a couple of guys that are servicing this car. You know, one guy would be washing the windows and checking the oil, and the other guy would be would be uh, putting gas in the car and. And that's when service used to be service, you know? Look at these old ladies here, boys and girls. Look at these old ladies here getting, you know, buying some cosmetics so they can look better. I got news for you, ladies. You're not going to look better. That's as good as it gets for you. <laughs> Are you enjoying these old photos, boys and girls? Because I've got more of them if you want to see them. How about this? Look at these old stoves, huh? This old display of stove and refrigerators. You don't know how lucky you are with your modern, uh, with your mo modern appliances. You know, and that what I think. What I think that is that you're spoiled. You're just downright spoiled, boys and girls. Can you say spoiled, boys and girls? Do you know what it is to be spoiled, huh? If you don't know what it is to be spoiled, go look in the damn mirror. I'm special. You know what? You know what, boys and girls? You're not special. You think you're special. You think you're special. Look at these old girls here. This is the interior of Metro Golden Mayor. Their office. Some of these girls and their old adding machines and typewriters, you know? Huh? And this is the Burroughs, you know, the adding machine people. Adding machine uh, store. Look at these old uh, cash registers and different things. Can you, can you say cash register, boys and girls? Huh? Speaking of cash registers, why don't you send me a few bucks, huh? <laughs> Here's another interior of a, an old uh, yeah, Chevrolet uh, dealership. Can you say Chevrolet? Yeah, Chevrolet and Chevrolet. Can you say Chevrolet, boys and girls? I know you can if you put your mind to it. Look at this old guy. This is this is a guy at a at a business college that's teaching these young secretarial uh, prospects how to type. He's teaching them how to type, and the girls are saying, geez, that looks like a lot of fun, but he looks like he's he's probably more fun. <laughs> and guess what? He is more fun, boys and girls, and I'm more fun than he is. I'm more fun than he's ever thought of being, you know? I'm trying to find some more photos here, boys and girls, that you can relate to, you know? So here's an old here's an old gal here that's coming out of her safe. She's coming out of her safe holding a ledger, and she's gonna give it to this secretary over here. You know that doesn't have anything to do, boys and girls. Can you say you don't have anything to do, boys and girls? Huh? Let's see. Here's another drugstore, boys and girls. Can you say that, boys and girls? How about that for a drugstore, huh? Are you having fun, boys and girls? Huh? I'm having fun. I'm having fun just showing you what's on my desk. You know? There's a lot on my desk, and there's probably a lot on your desk. But, I, but, but I'm not interested in the stuff on your desk. I'm only interested on the stuff on my desk. Look at this old uh, clock store, boys and girls. Huh? Look at that old clock store. Look at, look at that old stuff in there, huh? I'm sure that my uh, that I'm not doing a very good job showing you this stuff, but guess what? I don't care. I couldn't care less. Look at this. Look at this waiting room for a car company. Can you imagine having cars, you know, parked just out, almost up your rear end as you sit there in the law, in the uh, waiting room? You know, trucks and cars 
has always been a big deal in our life, hasn't it, boys and girls, huh? It's always been a big deal in, in our life, and it will always be a big deal in our life because we have to get around. You know, you can't, everybody just can't hitchhike, you know? You know, when I want to ride, all I have to do is go out and I find the cutest girl going down the street. I, I'm, I'm by a stop sign or a red light, and so I, uh, so I, so I wait till a real cute girl is at the stop sign or at the, at the traffic light. Can you say traffic light, boys and girls? And, and what I do, she looks over at me. She looks over at me, and I go like this. And that's her cue to pull over. So she pulls over. She rolls down her window. I say, "Hey, babe, can I get a can I get a ride with you?" And before you know it, I'm riding in the passenger seat, baby. She says, "Where would you like to go?" And I said, "That's a dumb question." <laughs> No, she says, seriously, where would you like to go? I says, anywhere you want me to go. Your wish is my command. Before you know it, we're up to her apartment. We're up to her apartment. And, uh, I don't know, a couple of days later, I go home again. You know, it's about the bottom line on it. Anyway, what else is on my desk? Huh? Here's a, here's a bag of M&M's that I ate, boys and girls. I bought 25 of these big bags of M&M's after Christmas, and I ate all 25 of them and loved every little M&M. They were great. I loved them. I know I shouldn't have eaten them, and I know I'm going to pay for it, but I loved it. You know, I really did. I don't know what else I can show you that's on my desk, boys and girls. Uh... There's a lot that's on my desk, and there's a lot that's, that's under my desk. Oh, here's, here's the thing that's under my desk, boys and girls. Here's a neat thing right here that's under my desk. Can you see this little box, boys and girls? You know what? <laughs> you know what's inside the box? The, the cigars came in this box, boys and girls. Cigars. Now, you're not supposed to uh, smoke cigars, boys and girls. You're not supposed to smoke. You're not supposed to drink. You're not supposed to, uh, you know, have sex until you're married. There's a lot of things you're not supposed to do, boys and girls. And uh, but but uh, but I but I it, it I I I am as clean as the white driven snow. Look, I don't I don't smoke cigars. I have never had. And I swear to God, and I've told you before, boys and girls, so when I say I swear to God, that means that, that I'm serious. But I've never, ever had a cigarette in my mouth. I don't think I, 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 I never have. I can never remember a time that I've ever had a cigarette in my mouth. I've never smoked. I've never had drugs. I've never even had, you know, just a regular cigarette. Never. I remember as a boy, I used to watch uh, one of my relatives smoke. When I was maybe four years old, and I remember this, boys and girls, when I was four, because I have a keen memory. I remember him smoking uh, when we were watching TV one night. The lights were off, the TV was on, and I and I thought, as a as a four year old boy, as a four year old boy, I loved watching that orange, that orange red, what do you call it, thing on the end of the cigarette, you know, the lights up. Uh, I, I used to love that. I thought I thought that was somehow magical, and I, I really wanted to smoke so I could make that light light come on like that. Of course, my parents uh, told me that I shouldn't smoke and told me why I, why I shouldn't smoke. I never have. But anyway, boys and girls, I hope you've had a nice time uh, looking at the things that are on my desk. And. Uh, if you haven't had a, a, a good time, well, that's your own fault because I've tried. I've tried my hardest to please you. Now, if there's anything that you'd like to ask me, 
uh, then maybe I can bring that up in one of my next videos, you know? And, uh, of course, any, if any of you want to donate a few bucks to me, I can mention your name in my, mix, nick, in my next video, and I'll be glad to. Some of you young ladies out there, you know, between, I don't know, 18 and 42... You don't even have to send me any money, you know. And if you want me, well, who doesn't want me? You know, I don't. I, I mean, if you if you want to ask me a question, and you want me to talk about you in my next video, you don't have you don't have to send me money, but I would appreciate a nice, you know, picture of you. I don't mean a picture of you when you're in high school, when you're, you know. 18 and 19. I don't want that picture. I want something that's up to date. That shows you. I'm showing you how I am. I shaved my beard off, you know. You either like it or you don't. But the, the, this is me. This is what you get. That's a lot more than you bargained for, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but, but anyways, you can send me a picture and then tell me why you would like me to to mention you on my video or why you'd like me to I don't know to take you out on a date to show you how the other half live baby beautiful beautiful you understand <laughs> what a bunch of losers <laughs>